Shalom. All praises, glory, and honors to Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai, Bahasham Racha, Kadash, and Dublin as to the apostles. And today, let's have great millstone peace and salutations to the elect. I am your brother Makula from the great millstone Jamaica camp. With a list here to feed the potential elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai. And, um, quick, yeah, um, quick video. I want to say a couple of uh, things on this clipping I'm about to play and um, I hope that this is, is, is edifying to the elect you know if, if this resonates with the spirit man give thanks with give thanks to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai man because 2022 we are coming into a closure and um, we can see that 2023 is going to be rougher than 2022 you understand so let me just play this video without any further ado, right? So, where is that? Right, so. I want to take the most aggressive action ever, ever, ever to confront the climate crisis and increase our energy security, ever in the whole world. And that's not hyperbole, that's a fact. That's a fact. I want to take the most aggressive action ever, ever, ever to confront the climate crisis and increase our energy security, ever in the whole world. And that's not hyperbole, that's a fact. I want to take the most aggressive action ever, ever, ever to confront the climate crisis and increase our energy security, ever in the whole world. And that's not hyperbole, that's a fact. No, I had to, I had to basically play that um, thrice, I would say three times, right? Why? So you can stuck in your mind if you're slothful remember these words that sleepy joe is saying it's, a, it's, it's not a hyperbole it's a, it's a fact he is gonna take the most drastic measures basically to fight climate change no why why is it so because first thing first you have to understand the basis of this climate change thing and why is why they are saying that there is um, a problem in climate change and that's because there is too much carbon too much carbon emission that's their story behind it right now their thing is about their thing is to to to, to decrease carbon emission remember that summit 2010 that Bill Gates did you know how to basically decrease it using vaccines and contraceptives remember that if they do a good job they can decrease it by I think it's what 15% something like that no the, the 2020 event when the world was locked down that was a major major test for these men to you know get active within prophecies man. yeah so what do you think this one is gonna be like question Gonna, let me let me play it one more time one more time i want to take the most aggressive action ever 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 to confront the climate crisis and increase our energy security ever in the whole world and that's not hyperbole that's a fact right so i want to take you, the most when you think about it the most aggressive actions that simply means that the 2020 we go again 2020 um, event those lockdowns was a walk in the park they are planning to get more serious and it brings me to this scripture here in Lamentation chapter 4 verse 17 it says as for us our eyes as yet failed for our vain help remember you Israelites was out there saying save us Joe save us Joe you know from What's his name? Trump. And I remember 
brothers like uh, the Ella Yasha Wanba was saying that look you niggas gonna beg for Donald Trump to come back in power yeah no I don't know if this man is gonna complete his term I don't know but nevertheless the agenda is, is still on and these men that you look towards for help they are vain because they are not for your benefit nor to help you they are therefore helping themselves so let's read again Lamentations 4 verse 17 as for us our eyes as yet failed for our vain help right it says in our watching we have watched for a nation that could not saved us because it's only one savior Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai yeah that's 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 what the Lord Yahweh Shai name means he is the deliverer he is a savior yeah right Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew yeah he our Shai deliverer right so that's our savior that's our deliverer not not Joe Biden not Donald Trump yeah not no nobody not Celestia none of you Saying it's, it's the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? Verse 18 it reads, They unt our steps that we cannot go in our streets, our end is near, our days are fulfilled, for our end is come. And you know, through martial law and, and, and various draconian measures, he's ready to exercise these draconian laws these measures upon new people they have already spent years mobilizing military military equipment all over the, the, the states yeah getting ready to depopulate the, 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 the earth we get rid of a lot of people um, because people is emitting too much carbon that's that's their thing because you have so much people you have to have so much factories emitting carbon but notice he's saying all around the world so you know that this agenda has to be pushed everywhere so that's the reason why your leaders is saying it's basically the same thing that these men are saying whether you want to be in Barbados, whether you want to be in Trinidad, Jamaica, Dominican Republic, Belize, Guyana, Argentina, Germany, Australia, Russia, you name it. All of them are singing the same song. All of them is for a new world order because they have gotten the mandate from the elites and they know that if they do not do what the elite said then that's gonna be their asses man but guess what if you do what the elite said that's gonna be your ass because your house shy ain't with that shit and he is to be feared he is to be worshipped man you understand not these men because these men are just mortal men that's gonna die man they're gonna perish like their own dung as the scripture says so back in Lamentation 4 verse 19 again it says our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven they pursued us upon the mountains they lay wait for us in the wilderness it says the breath of our nostrils the anointed of the Lord Yahweh was taken in their pits of whom we said under his shadow we shall live among the heathen and this happened in the ancient babylonian captivity it's gonna happen in this babylonian captivity again luckily the lord reserved unto him an elect let me say that again luckily the lord reserved unto him an elect an elect that will not bow to the bow the knees to the image of Baal. Any at all. Yeah? 
any at all. But we surely serve the empowerment. And it's gonna get worse. It's gonna get tighter and tighter and tighter because let me say this man, the Heavenly Father is against this place and he's against the doings of this place man. And he's about to bring this shit down and he's gonna use Esau, Edom to do so. You know, and I hope that this lesson has been an edifying one, shallow.